All right. So just getting comfortable, like I said, in your place, in your space today. Maybe if you are joining virtually, you've got a block, or if you don't have a block, you might have a book or a pillow. You can grab blankets or anything else that's going to keep you comfortable today. We're just starting with our beginning meditation, maybe closing our eyes or shifting our gaze down towards the floor or maybe a spot on the ceiling. All we're gonna do is focus on that space. Shifting our focus inward, starting to check in with our bodies today and how we're feeling. Checking in with ourselves physically and mentally as we come into a Monday, a new week, a new practice. maybe starting to explore any sensations that might be causing you any tension and being mindful of those spaces today as we move through our physical asanas. I invite you to start to explore your breath maybe noticing where you're feeling the breath today. Just checking in. And as you start to become aware of your breath, I invite you to try that three-part breath or diaphragmatic breath. Thinking of inhaling deep from the belly, moving the breath up into the chest and exhaling from the chest back down to the belly. You're welcome to place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart if you wanna focus on those sensations. Maybe feeling the rise and fall of the belly and the chest with each breath. For today, I invite you and encourage you to think about lengthening your exhale. Maybe you give a count of three or four to each breath, seeing if maybe you can Lengthen the exhale a little bit longer. So maybe it's a count of four or five for today. As we focus on that exhale and lengthening our exhale, we can start to slow down our bodies, our minds, letting go of any competition, letting go of any expectations, and letting go of any judgment of ourselves and others. Simply focusing on this present moment, how our bodies are feeling today, remembering that we are in control of our practice and we can always choose what feels best for our bodies. Wherever we are, all we're gonna do is bring our knees into our chest, grabbing underneath the hamstrings. We can gently rock side to side, massaging our low back, maybe just checking in with how our hips are feeling today. And then from here, as we inhale, let's extend our right leg out, keeping our left knee in. The right leg can come all the way to the floor or it can hover over the floor, you decide. As we exhale, we switch the legs, inhaling and exhaling to switch. Just taking a few rounds of this here on each side, exploring how our hips are feeling today, maybe starting to notice our core. We'll take one more round on each leg. And then when we're ready, bringing our knees back into the chest. From here, taking our feet to the mat in front of us. Arms can come out into that T position. And let's walk the feet to the edges of the mat as we slowly drop our knees to the right and the left, finding that windshield wiper action. Seeing how that internal and external rotation from our hips feels. Maybe checking in with how our back feels.
When you're ready, we'll slowly bring the knees to the center and then back into our chest. As we slowly drop our knees to the side, using our arm to press ourselves up, we're rolling ourselves up to the top of our mat, coming into a seated position. So we can sit up nice and tall, sitting in Sukhasana or crisscross. We can also bend our knees or maybe lengthen our legs in front of us. As we inhale, lifting our arms up to the sky. As we exhale, right hand reaches to the floor, left arm reaches up and over, side body stretch. Inhaling, we come back to center and exhaling, we switch. Just alternating your sides, moving at your own pace with your breath here. Inhaling to lengthen the spine and exhaling, feeling that seated bend. We'll take one more round on each side. And then as we start to get comfortable with this, next time as we exhale, taking that gentle twist over the shoulder. Inhaling, we come back to center and exhaling to twist. Just moving again at our own pace, side to side. Any direction, there is no right or wrong. Each time we twist, think about it as a gentle twist not putting too much pressure on our spine. Just checking in and seeing how each side of the body is feeling. That's what we're using this warm up for, checking in on our right and left side. Taking one more round on each side. And when we're ready, we'll come back to center. Inhaling, arms lift to the sky. Exhaling, we take the hands behind us. I like to make fists, but you can press your whole hand down behind you. Inhaling, we lift our heart to the sky. Slight little lift in the gaze, maybe up to the ceiling, making sure there's still space between our chin and chest, but not too much space. When we're ready, we slowly come back to center, inhaling, lifting our arms back to the sky. And exhaling, we find a seated forward fold. So bringing our heart towards our bodies, hands walk forward. Inhaling, we lift to lengthen again. And exhaling, this time we open up through our heart center, rolling our shoulders back. Inhaling, coming back to center. Lift and lengthen, exhaling, seated forward fold. Let's just take two more rounds of this sequence at our own pace. Moving with our breath here, getting used to that feel, getting our full range of motion in our spine. So big flexion, extension, and rotation. Ending with this position with our hands in front of us. When we're ready, we'll slowly walk our hands to the front of the mat, bring our feet to the back. So we come into that quadruped position or all fours, hands and knees. Little space between our knees here. So knees under our hip bones, hands under our shoulders, spreading our fingers like starfish. We push in and out of the palms to draw our elbows in and back, moving into our cat and cow, starting with our hips. We drop our belly to the mat lift our heart and then our head as we inhale. Exhaling, starting with our head, chin to chest, rounding through the spine, sits bones pull in towards the body and continuing to flow through your, our cat and cow here. Inhaling to our cow and exhaling to our cat. Feeling free to add on anything else that might feel good for this today. This is your time again to check in with your body and how these movements are feeling today. I encourage you to do that with every pose and listen to those signals that your body might be telling you, hey, this might feel really good or hey, this might not. Taking two more rounds of breath here in your cat and cow. And then we'll come back to center when you're ready, eye gaze to the floor.
As we inhale, let's take our right leg behind us, pressing the toes into the mat, pushing the heel back. We should feel a nice little calf stretch. So from the side, it looks like this. Bringing the knee back in and we'll switch. Left leg presses back. Exhaling, knees come back in, inhaling right leg. And exhaling, switch. Finding your all fours, hands and knees. This time we add on to this. So inhaling our left arm reaches back and our right leg. We can keep the toes to the floor or we can lift the leg up to hip height. And exhaling, we switch and release. Inhaling right arm, left leg into that bird dog. And exhaling, release and switch. Just moving from side to side here, starting to feel some heat building in your core. Drawing the belly button into the spine, nice neutral spine. Immediately, if you started the practice today, maybe feeling a little cooler, you should start to feel your body temperature increase moving in and out of this move. We'll take one more round on each side. Thinking about pushing your heel into the back wall behind you, toes to the floor. When you're ready, we'll meet back in our all fours. From here, taking our knees to the long edges of the mat, tops of the feet down, we sit the hips towards the heels to find child's pose. You can lower your head to the floor, extending your arms maybe in front of you, hands behind you. You can also keep your head above your heart by finding a block or a pillow maybe. You're also welcome to massage your forehead, rocking it side to side here, stimulating that vagus nerve. Remembering child's pose is a great option for a rest pose, but there's many other rest poses. So you can always come back to this or any other rest pose throughout our practice. Remembering that this is your individual practice. So it's gonna look different from anyone else and it might look different each day as well. From here, let's all extend our hands out in front of us. We can either keep the head on the block if we want or head on the floor. Arms reach out in front into that extended child's pose. Taking a big inhale here. As we exhale, let's walk the hands to the right side of the body, reaching a little further. Maybe the body moves a little bit to the right. The left hand reaches a little further. Inhaling, we come back to center and exhaling over to the other side, this time reaching further with the right hand. Inhaling, we come back to center, shifting your body forward, finding a modified plank position. So hands under shoulders, knees walk in line with our hips and we shift the hips in front of our knees. Elbows draw in. Exhaling, we have an option to find a little baby push-up. Exhaling, come down. Inhaling, pressing into the palms. And then exhaling, child's pose, sitting back. Inhaling, we can shift forward, finding that plank once again. Exhaling, if you want to, chaturanga. Elbows come by the ribs. They graze the ribs, lowering to the mat. Tops of the feet come down. And then as we inhale, we flip the feet. Press back up to find your plank. Exhaling, child's pose. If you're wanting to explore a little more extension in your spine, as you exhale, coming down into your chaturanga, tops of the feet on the mat, inhale, we can press up into our baby cobra. Our hands can lift. So we're testing our full back strength. Exhale, child's pose. Continuing, let's flow through our half series here in whatever way feels best. If we want to, we can explore our full cobra, elbows and shoulders back. If we're wanting to explore full plank, we can come up onto our toes, lifting our knees in that full plank. 
taking two more rounds of this half series in whatever way feels best. Remembering those options that feel best for our bodies today. When we're ready, after our two rounds of our half series, we'll meet back in child's pose, or if we want to explore downward facing dog, we can tuck our knees, lift our hips up to the sky in that inverted V. Maybe walking our dog, bending knees right and left, checking in with how our calves, our hamstrings, our feet are feeling. And then from here, we'll walk our feet to our hands, finding the top of our mat for a forward fold. I always like to show options here with the block. So we can bring the ground up to meet us where we are with our block, our pillow, our book, softening our knees here, bringing our chest closer to our knees by softening the knees. And then maybe relaxing through the head, the chin, the neck, through the jaw, maybe shaking your head yes and no. As we inhale, let's lift up to our halfway lift and lengthen our spine, long spine here. Exhaling, soften and fold, bending our knees. Doing that again, inhaling to our half lift, lengthening through our spine. Exhaling, softening and folding. This time, inhale, reverse swan dive. Arms can lift up to the sky if we'd like to our extended mountain and exhale, sitting back to our chair. Weights in our heels, we can wiggle our toes. Inhale, let's lift one more time, our chair sitting back. Option to extend the arms out in front of us. Moving through our full sun salutations. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, half lift. Exhale, soften and fold. Stepping back to find your plank, knees or toes. Inhaling, remembering those options in your half series. Optional chaturanga, optional cobra, or up dog, the knees can lift. Exhale, child's pose or down dog. Inhaling, we step to the top of our mat. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chair pose. Inhaling, we lift, lengthen. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Stepping back, finding your plank and moving through your options here for your half series. Maybe it's just that little yoga push-up. Maybe it's child's pose. Inhaling, we step to the top of our mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chair. Moving through your sun salutations, we'll take two more rounds at our own pace here in whatever version feels best for you. Remembering the goal of our sun salutations here is to build that heat in the body. You see me rolling on my sleeves. I'm already feeling hot. <laughs> and remembering those options that feel best for us today. So. We can always come to our child's pose. We always have the option of moving into our cobra or our chaturanga, but they're not mandatory. The goal here is to build that heat, get the oxygen flowing to our muscles that we're gonna be utilizing in our practice today. When we finish our two rounds of our sun salutations, all we're gonna do is meet in our down dog or child's pose. So no rush, but you can make your way there whenever you're ready. If you are there, maybe checking in with how your body's feeling, maybe noticing that increase in body temperature. 
from your down dog or child's pose, let's walk our feet to the top of our mat, finding a forward fold. Softening our knees here, maybe finding our block. Maybe bending knees right and left. From here, let's inhale, reverse swan dive, arms lift up to the sky if we'd like. Exhale, finding mountain pose. So hands by our sides, palms forward, softening our knees, but engaging through our core, our glutes, neutral spine, heavy tailbone. As we float our arms up to the sky, let's inhale. Exhale, sitting back into our chair, bringing our hands into our heart center today for our chair to start. From here, let's inhale, lift the right heel. Maybe pressing into the toes, shifting the weight, exhaling, switch and release. Inhale, left heel lifts. And exhale, switch. This time, if we want to, can we lift both of our heels up? Little balance challenge at the beginning today when our energy is the highest. Option here, the arms, can you send them back behind you? Option is sink a little deeper into your chair. Holding for two more rounds of breath. Now we're feeling warm, right? <laughs> Releasing the feet, inhaling, sending the arms back up to the sky. Excellent, exhaling mountain pose. From here, we're stepping our right leg back, left leg forward, finding a high lunge. So checking our feet first, maybe hands come to heart center. Our hips are shining forward, our toes are shining forward, and our back heel is lifted in our warrior in our high lunge versus warrior one. It's on the floor, it's on the ground, right? From here, we're opening the hips to the long side of the mat to find our warrior two stance, bending our left knee, and if we want to, we can grow our arms out to the sides. Checking to make sure our knees are happy. I always say check the front knee, make sure it's pressing out versus falling in. We don't wanna put added pressure on our knees, our joints, squeezing our glutes here. As we look towards our left hand in the front, we flip the palm, reverse warrior. Legs stay where they are, arm reaches back, opening through our heart center. This hand can rest on our back leg or it can wrap around. Finding our breath here in our left rib cage. Taking one more big inhale. As we exhale, left forearm comes to our front thigh, extended side angle. Left right arm can reach up and over. It can be straight overhead or it can reach a little further. Just making sure we're stacking right shoulder over left, either here or here. We can also find those arm circles. Releasing any tension. Finding our breath. Maybe if we want to think about our core here, we can lift our left arm up off our thigh, squeezing the glutes, pressing into our feet. As we exhale here on our next inhale, we're opening up to the long side of the mat, finding that five-pointed star. So pulling our heels in, toes out. Exhaling, we sweep the arms to the floor for sunflower. Inhale to lift and exhale to sink. Just moving at our own pace here. Feeling expansive in this pose, in our power pose. Feeling grounded and strong as we sink. And thinking about creating that space around you, whatever it is that you're wanting to invite into your space, taking two more rounds of breath. Meeting back in our five-pointed star, as we exhale, we just release our hands to our hips, softening our knees, maybe turning our toes in a little bit more. We take a forward fold to find that wide leg straddle. You can grab your block here maybe. Maybe feet walk a little wider, heels out, toes in. And if you want to, you can bend your knees right and left.
From here, we walk our hands to the right foot. So we're going to the back of the mat. I'm, gonna, I'm staying where I am, but y'all can see me in the mirror as we rotate towards that low lunge to the back of the mat. We step the right foot back, finding our down dog or our child's pose. And you have the option here to move through your half series if you'd like. You can also stay in down dog or child's pose. We meet in our down dog or child's pose, walking our feet to the top of the mat. So now we're facing the back in our forward fold. Remembering that we can move our block there, softening our knees, taking a little breather. As we inhale, we sweep our arms to the sky, reverse swan dive. Exhaling, sinking back into our chair. Excellent. Heavy tailbone, so core braced. From here, we lift our right heel. Exhaling, release. You know where we're going now. Inhale, left heel. Exhale, release. Inhaling, if we want to, both heels lift. Arms send be, uh, shoot back behind us. And then if we want to, we can sink deep down into it. If you really want to, you can sink all the way down, test your balance maybe, right? Holding for two more rounds of breath. Inhaling, we sweep the arms up to the sky and releasing into our mats and pose. Beautiful. From here, left leg steps back to find your high lunge. Right knee forward, right legs forward, hips shining to the front. Hands come into heart center, shoulders back and down. Knees in line with toes. Finding our breath here. And when we're ready, we open to find warrior two. This time, right foot forward, left foot back. Knees happy, hips happy to the long side of the mat. An option to grow our arms out to the sides. Relaxing the shoulders back and down, pressing into our feet here. Gazing over our right hand in front of us. This time we flip the palm to the sky, reach back to find reverse warrior on the other side. Now immediately when we do this, we should want our glutes to be turned on. They're gonna help support our spine in this position. And we're opening through our right side. Eye gaze can be down, up, or out to the side. Taking one more big inhale. As we exhale, right forearm to front thigh, extended side angle. Taking anything you want to here, any options with the arms. Maybe you want to find a little more heat for the core, you can lift your right arm up. So this is a great test, right? We're not falling into our right leg. We want to be able to, in our Extended side angle, lift that right arm easily off of our thigh. Taking one more exhale. As we inhale, we open to find our five pointed star, heels and toes out. Option this time, if you want to, sinking down into that moon flower. Inhaling, we lift. And exhaling, we sink down, pressing our knees in line with our toes. Belly button to spine, feeling the nice uh, hip opening position, but also feeling the strength in our lower bodies. Taking two more rounds here. Finding the breath that feels best for us. And then when we're ready, we'll meet back in our five pointed star releasing our hands to our hips, taking our toes forward, heels out. We hinge from the hips, softening the knees, maybe grabbing our block, bending our knees right and left. We can find that little inner thigh stretch. And then from here, we'll walk our hands to our left foot. So we're coming back to the front, rotating into that low lunge, stepping the left foot to meet the right, we find down dog or child's pose, option to move through your half series or to simply catch your breath here. Checking in with how your body's feeling.
This is going to be our last down dog of the day. So feeling free to take anything else that you want to from here. And then whenever you're ready, we'll slowly come to our child's pose. So knees to the mat. As we inhale, we shift forward, finding that modified plank position. So eye gaze to the top of the mat, hands under shoulders. This time elbows draw in. We are gonna all lower down onto our bellies on our mats. We can adjust in any way. From here, we did a lot of, I know, heart opening a couple weeks ago, but one of my favorites is bow pose. We'll take our right hand out in front of us. From here, we bend our left leg. I like to flex my foot personally. Left hand reaches back. We can grab the outside or the inside, but test how your shoulder feels and your knees. For me, I like the outside. I think that's a good starting spot. As we inhale, we press into the hand and push the hip into the mat as we slowly lift the chest a little bit off the mat. Eye gaze is still in front of us, feeling that expansion in our spine, bringing our knees together, and exhaling, we release and come down. Switching sides, so left hand in front of us. We can always bend the knee and keep it here. This is also a great quad stretch. Reaching the right hand back, grabbing whatever part of the foot feels good. Staying here, or if we want to, as we inhale, pressing into the left hand, pressing into the right hip as well, into the mat, feeling that little lift. Little chest expansion here, extension in our spine, and then exhaling, we release. From here, I want you to stack your hands on top of each other and we're just gonna rest our forehead on our forearms. This is called a belly press. It is an actual pose. In this position, we can gently massage our forehead with our forearms. A belly press is a great position to bring more oxygen to our bodies, to our hearts. It also brings that state of rest and digest. Our parasympathetic side of our brain activates that. And that vagus nerve that helps us with our stress response cycle. When you're ready, we'll slowly lift up. This time, taking both of our hands back behind us, Taking our thumbs to the sky. As we inhale, we slowly lift up into our lotus pose. If we want to, we can lift our feet here as well, squeezing our glutes and then exhaling, releasing. We're gonna try that one more time. Eye gaze is to the floor, so nice neutral spine. I like to bring my feet together. They don't have to be though. As you inhale, pressing into your feet to start, lifting your chest, squeezing your glutes, and then if you want to, lifting both parts. Squeezing and exhaling, releasing. Really great for your back body, bringing your hands back to the front, underneath your shoulders. As we press into our hands, we press back into our child's pose. It's a really great counter stretch. So getting flexion in our spine after all of that great extension. Just gathering our breath here. This is gonna be our last child's pose of the day. When you're ready, we'll slowly walk our hands up to our head, lift our chest, and we're shifting around back to our seated position. We've got one more pose before we bring ourselves into our Shavasana. So left leg extends, right knee pulls in as we slowly lower ourselves down onto our mat. Now I'm gonna give y'all a couple options today, especially as I know many of y'all have done yoga with me for a while. <laughs> From here, we're gonna move into our supine twist. So you have options because there's so many different ways to do this. If you want to, you can keep your right knee in, bring it into your body, 
Right arm extends, so single leg supine twist. That's option one. Option two, if you want to, both knees come into the chest as we slowly lower to the side, arms come out into that T position, right? And then option three, if you want to, a little more, you can cross the right leg over and then drop it to the side. So you decide what feels best for you today. Maybe you wanna explore all three. This is where we are going to uh, end before our Shavasana. So um, we'll start on this side and then we'll move to the other side. Remember that you also have the block or maybe a pillow that you can rest your knees on. When you're ready, wherever you are, we're just gonna go to the other side. So both knees, one knee, whatever feels good, we'll drop our legs over to that other side. Whenever you're ready, we'll slowly bring our knees back to center. We can bring the knees into the chest, grabbing onto our hamstrings, maybe rock it side to side, massaging our low back, maybe drawing those circles on the ceiling to reset our hips. From here, taking any last and final poses that maybe you're wanting to explore in your body. And then whenever you're ready, you're welcome to make your way uh, into your favorite rest pose, whether that's Shavasana with your legs extended, feet can be on the floor, knees bent, feet together. You can lay on your side, on your belly, whatever feels best for you today. We will end there with our final relaxation and meditation. Feeling free to grab any jackets, blankets, etc. Using this time to shift your focus inward once again bringing your intention and awareness back to your breath. Thinking of that three-part breath and especially thinking of that longer exhale for today.
starting to wiggle your fingers and toes, just bringing that awareness back into your body and your space. Whenever you're ready, you're welcome to bring your knees into your chest, rolling over onto your favorite side. And then making your way back to a seated position. We'll sit up nice and tall together. As we inhale one last time together, arms can reach overhead. As we exhale, we gather our breath into our heart center, that Anjali Mudra position. We end our practice by saying something together that simply means I honor, see, and observe the light in each and every one of you. It is also within me. Namaste. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. Have a great rest of your week.